All right, so let's do a little bit of a refresh from uh, from the other day. So, uh, so bow, feet together, about 45 degrees, hands to your sides, bend at the waist. Close. Okay, and then yoy. Let's get ready. Okay, so from here, take your left hand, put it on your hip. I'm my right, left hand out, right hand on your hip. Okay, punching center, stomach level, chewed on. It's knee. Remember, turn it over late. Some she go bro sitch hutch coot last one Jew is ten Jew good all right so now let's punch face one two three four five now try to avoid turning like this see how my body's canted a little bit okay so yes more stay straight five six six seven eight nine ten eight. all right good let's do some rising blocks remember crossing in the middle it's and you get your hand a little bit further this way, bring it more to the center. There you go, knee. So wrist, center of your center of your forehead. So move it a little bit more that way. There you go. Thump. She uppercut and then turn it over. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hutch. Coot. And do right. Good. Let's do that down block. So stick that right hand or left hand out, cross, push down. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I got. So I got it right. No. Nope. So you were. Let's see. You were here, right? You were here. Left, right hand out. There you go. So the hand that's on your hip goes to your ear. Yeah. And this one's hip. a killer for me. Yeah. And on your hip goes to here. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. There you go. Good. Yep. Nine. Ten. Eight. Yeah. All right, good. Now from here, let's bring our feet together. Bring our hands up here like this. And we're gonna do some front snap kicks. So step starting with your right leg, lift the knee, kick out, kick stomach, and come back to here. One. Sorry, two. Left leg. Oh left leg. Yes. Yeah. Now right leg. Three. Switching each time. Four. Five. Feet together. Feet together. Yes, sir. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Hey. All right, hey. good. So now let's go back as far as you can go. Let's step forward with your left leg. Maybe give yourself six inches so you got a little play coming backwards. Okay, so we're going to go right, start here, standing up. We're gonna start with a left leg downward block. So downward block with your left hand, step forward with your left leg into a front stance, bending your knee over your over your big toe. Begin. Good, so now lunging punch to the face. One, two, three. Do you have one more? Or are you running yes, out of Yes, sir. All right, four. Backwards punching stomach. One, two, big long step. Three, four. Good. Stepping for a rising block, front stance. Make sure that front knee is bent forward. One, two, three, and four. Hey. And backwards. One, 
two, three, and four. Good, step forward with a downward block. So take your right hand, bring it to your ear, send this one forward. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Good, backwards. One. Two. Good, three, four. All right, good, hands in the front. So left hand's a little bit in front of the right, and then as you step, you're gonna just let the hips turn naturally and let the arms move with the hips. Front snap, kick, stomach, one, two, three, and four. Hey. And let's do a downward block. Take your back leg, squeeze it in, and put it back out again. So now you have your right leg still forward. See? <laughs> okay, squeeze so it. Look. So I'm going to bring it forward, squeeze it to the middle, and then step out. Step out that way. There you go. Good. And make back it wide enough. Yeah, make it wide enough so you've got uh, uh, one shoulder width wide in your feet. Gotcha. So from here, I'm going to squeeze it in, and then I got to put it back over there wide enough so that I'm one hip wide. Okay. All right. Kicking front stance or uh, kicking uh, front snap kick, stomach level. One, two, three, four. Hype. And turning, bring your back leg in. Put it back out, do a downward block. You got it, step out with your, no, no, no. <laughs> step out with the leg you moved. Step out with your leg you moved. So bring it in. Nope, back leg, now step back out. There you go, keep going oh, toward me, this. toward me. Yeah, nope, go back. Okay, so you got your left leg forward, right? Now I do, sir. No, no I'm sorry, <laughs> switch. Switch your right leg forward. Okay, now put your, there you go. So bring your left leg in. Bring your left leg in. Now move your left leg again. Move it off to the back side and one shoulder width wide. Do a down block with your left. There you go, good. Okay. All right, sure. let's, do, let's do that. Let's do those turns again uh, together. So let's face this way. Put your, uh, let's see. You need to put your left leg forward. There you go. So we're going to go, uh, actually, come closer to me. Uh, wait, no, you're going to come my way. So go away from me. Sorry. No okay. problem. All right. So take your back leg, squeeze it in, which, put which it back is my out. Right leg. Again, which is your right leg. Squeeze it in, put it back out on shoulder width wide. There you go. Now a back leg in, shoulder width wide. Wow. <laughs> Left leg. There you go. Shoulder width wide. No. Nope. Behind yourself. Behind yourself now. Squeeze it in. Nope. 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 No. Nice. Okay, so look. Look. Watch. Watch. Shake it out. <laughs> Shake it out. Okay. I need some of the... <laughs> All right. So you're going to take this back leg, bring it in, put it back out. Put it back out that way. There you go. Good. So take your right leg, bring it in. Put it back out. That always is... turning, always turning over your back back leg shoulder. Bring it in. Turn over your back leg shoulder. There you go. Good. It's so opposite of yeah. how I'm used to draw. You know, turning around. It's yeah. it's so opposite. Well, so the the turning around for for most of our like forms and stuff like that is just take your front leg and turn the mm -hmm. other way. Okay. All the way through. This is a different way. This is a this is a traditional mawate or a turn around uh, in stance. So bring your back leg in and go over your right shoulder, or sorry, left shoulder. Sorry, my mistake. You're in my mirror. 
Go back. Go back. So bring your right leg in. Turn over your right shoulder. I had it right the first time. <laughs> okay, now let's switch feet. Now we're gonna go back down the other side of the room. So I want you to take your back leg, you're gonna squeeze it in and turn over your old back leg's shoulder. Okay, so tap your old back leg shoulder right now. Sh <laughs> yeah, okay, so ready? One. Two. Good, three. Four. Switch feet. Now let's do down blocks with this too. So back leg, backside hand does a down block. Ready? One. Back leg. Oh, back side did hand. you do that again, sir? I missed here. it. So you're here. I'm going to bring this over here. One. Squeeze so. in your back leg. And turn over your shoulder and do a down block. There you go. Good. Now your backside hand. Does the block again and your back leg moves. Two. Good. All right. Three. Squeeze and go. <laughs> it's a brain back teaser. Leg, back leg, back hand. There you go. Good. Good. One more. Two. Three. Oh. You got it. You got it. Oh, you went too far. Yeah. Put your right leg out. There you go. Squeeze and just put your right leg back out where it was. Kind of wow. facing the other direction now. There you go. Something's feeling awfully wrong about this. Don't forget, you're turning, you're, tur you're using your backside hand, which is your right hand, and moving your backside leg, turning over your backside shoulder. Bring your what right hand this? to your ear. Bring your right hand to your ear. There you go. Now turn. Nope. You've no. Your left hand to your ear. All right, watch, watch, Michael. It's amazing I got through school. <laughs> <laughs> right, right hand to your ear. Your other right hand. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Squeeze in your right leg and put your right leg back out again. Put your right now oh, behind yourself, right? We're going to end up going this way. Look. You're going to end up going that way. Should I yep. turn around now? Yep. Well, you will as soon as you get your hand to your ear. Squeeze your leg in and then turn. Nope. Oop. Back Wrong. side shoulder. Wrong. Back side shoulder. There you go. This this arm. This arm. No, you had a right, right hand. Did I? Yeah. Squeeze it in. No. Nope. Wrong leg moving. Back leg moves. And then step your right leg out again over your go over your right shoulder. Over my right shoulder. That's correct. Turn your right shoulder toward that way. I got some goofed up. I'm thinking here. Here, watch. I'm going to take my right shoulder, turn it that way. Okay, left leg out. Correct. Squeeze your right leg in. Right arm to your ear. Right arm to my ear. Yeah, squeeze your right leg in, go over your right shoulder. There you go. Yep, you got it. All right, switch feet. We'll do it one more time. Okay, so same thing. Right leg, right hand, turn over your right shoulder. One. Okay. Right leg. <laughs> right hand and over your right shoulder. Why turn, does toward feel, your, turn toward your right shoulder. Why does this feel so bizarre? Uh, like I just can't seem to get. Just let it go. There you go. There's good. Now left hand, left leg over your left shoulder. Two. Good. Three. Right hand, right leg, right shoulder. There you go. Ooh. Hey, you got it. Four. Left leg, left shoulder, left arm. Yep, you got it. All right, so this is a, something I want you to practice over the weekend, okay? Yes, sir. All right, gosh. so um, one thing I always tell my beginners, especially those who are very smart beginners that aren't necessarily uh, 
uh, good at karate yet, you got to be okay with sucking. <laughs> it's going to take, take a while. So don't get discouraged. It, you know, not everybody turns black belt in a day. So sure. it, uh, it's, it's going to take a while to kind of get the coordination. And, you know, it, this is, you know, something that comes within the first couple months and, you know, you'll get, uh, you'll get the hang of it real quick. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, let's take this into some new blocks for us. And uh, these are both middle blocks. Okay, one is from the outside to inside. The other one is from the inside to the outside. So the outside to the inside one comes from the ear, like you're airing out your armpit. And then you bring it around. Okay, so kind of think about, think of yourself inside of a barrel, right? If okay. you ever see Karate Kid? Oh, uh, yes. So they had that little barrel thing. And he was doing this, 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 same sort of thing, but this one's coming from the ear with a little bit of a opening twist this way, and then I twist it this way when I'm done. Yeah. And it's kind of like one of the ways that I've I've heard it used with kids is like or teenagers is picture you got a knife here and you gotta stab them with it. <laughs> this way, yeah. And it has to come Kind of vertical, not so much this way. I think you got it. You got it well, and then it also comes to the middle of your body, not out here. Middle of your body, so that when I turn, see how that you don't see the edge of my body anymore when I yes. turn. So that's the just in case I didn't block good enough, he still misses me. Okay, so I don't want to leave it in the center here where I can still get hit. I'm going to end up eventually turning in a when Fine. I'm in stance. Yeah. So so in a standing position just to the center, okay? Yes, sir. So bring the left right hand out. Okay, so picture this is pulling, pulling. So again, this is that pulling action which is opposite of the punch. So one. Then take this out. Bring it up. Two. Good. Bring it up. Three, four, oop, so you're here, right? You're here, send that out, five. So yep. think of this as uh, one of those roller blinds, you know, this goes zoop, zoop, like that, right off your hips. Okay. And just rolls rolls right up to your uh, to your ear, yeah, like that. And then it goes around. There you go. Out, rolls up, and around. Up, rolls out. Oh. Out. We're gonna get rolls out around. See when you get this when you get this to be kind of uh, really good for you. What happens is is these two go together. These two go together, okay? So you hear these two go together, then turn around. These two go together, turn around. These two go together, turn around. Together, around. Together, around. All right, good. So um, notice that our blocks all have a preparation side or a draw hand side, okay? It's important to use these twofold. One is I can actually grab something and use the block as a strike by grabbing onto something. The other thing I can do is I can use this side as the block. Picture somebody giving me a big haymaker. That stops their haymaker and this can go to their neck as a I strike, see. okay? Same thing with this one stops their haymaker or maybe somebody punches toward my face and I put that down into their groin. Okay, same thing with this one. Catches that haymaker, put that underneath their chin. Yes, sir. So I got different ways that I can use that if I mute if I have both hands active and doing something. So that means the, the pre motion can be a block whereas the block could then turn into an attack. Okay. Okay. It's interesting. Yes. 
All right, so let's do that. Uh, it's called a soto uke, or an outside to inside middle block, outside to inside, in a front stance. Okay, and we'll do it uh, in a moving in a in a uh, uh, in a front stance. So let's start. Always start. We start with a bow. Yo, and then always start with your left leg forward and a downward block. And when I say kamai, that means get ready. Come on. Sleep. Good. So make sure that down block comes on the top, all right? Other hand. You had it right. Right hand. Uh, left left, hand, left, leg. left hand, left leg. Good. So let me give you an also a beginner, uh, a beginner rule is your hands always match. Leg, hands always match. For now. Yes, sir. Until until things change when you get back, when you get more things to do. Okay. But early on, hands always match. So if you got your wrong hand forward, you got your wrong hand forward, wrong hand forward, make your leg and your hand match no matter what. Okay, so we yes, started sir. with this down block. Let's do this outside, inside, middle block together. Step one. Together. Two. Good. Together. Three. All right, go backwards. One, two, three. Good. So let's let me see your side side view of your of your middle block. So facing that way, facing that way with your left leg forward. Okay, make your middle block. Okay, long front stance. And we're working, train the leg, bend that front knee a little bit forward. More. Bend your front knee a little bit more. There you go. So if you were to plumb a line from the edge of your knee downward, it should be at the very rear of the big toe knuckle. My, my knee should yes. be at the rear? Okay. Rear of the big wow. toe knuckle. Not, not in the front of. So if you're this far forward, See how far forward I am? Yes. All I can do is go that way before I have to go here to go that way. So what I want to be able to do is I can go forward or I can go rearward. So I have the ability to use both at that forward most position. Okay, so make your middle block. Nope, with your, with your left hand. Just make your middle block with your left hand just from there in place. Just from here? Yep, yep. All right, so I would suggest that your your arm wants to be about one fist from your body at your elbow. And then notice my arm is not less than 90 degrees. It wants to be slightly more than 90 degrees. Yes, sir. Okay. So it's, that's an anatomical thing. If you're slightly below 90, it tends to have a lot of ability to bend this way. Whereas if it's a, just a little bit before, longer than, bigger than 90, it, it, it can, can resist pressure backwards. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So take a step back, do one more. Take a step back and do one. It's while stepping, sir. Yeah. So go, Put your left leg forward again. Go as far to your left as possible there. There you go. Now take a step back and make a middle block. So out and up. Out and up. Out and up. Nope. So out me. with your left hand. Out with your left hand. Up with your right hand. Take a oh, step back. Oh, I see it. I... Take a step back. There you go. And just a little bit more open with your fist, just a little, yeah, right there. And bring your elbow down just a little bit. So check your elbow to your side by sticking your fist in, in between there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that close. Okay, and the reason for that is as you start raising this arm up, you're less strong and you're less connected in your lat muscles. So think of it, uh, turn face me, okay? What I want you to do is, is gradually pick your arms up and get to where you're the top. 
Titus. Uh. Now check it. Check it without moving it. See how it was about one fist away? So if you go like this and get where you can tense your lats the, the hardest. Uh, right there. Now check it. That's where, that's where it should be. Yeah, yeah right okay. about there. So, so the idea is having it so that all your muscles can be uh, maximized in that best position right there. Okay. I see. Right about one fist away and a little bit bigger than 90 degrees. Okay, so let's try this again. So uh, to your backside, let's bow. Let's. Stepping forward, left leg with a downward block, left hand too. Come on. Hey. Good, stepping forward. Soto uke, outside, inside, middle block. One. Two. You got it. Three. All right, going backwards, same thing. One. Two. Keep your front knee bent even though you're stepping backwards. Three. Good. All right, good. Let's do three more or six more. Hitch. Now, as soon as I start counting, I want you to do this. Do they count? I want you to go up and out and then step. Two. Good. So when you go up, it's not elbow out. It's elbow like you're doing a punch. So more straight. Yes, That's sir. okay. Two. Three. There you go. Good. Pull that hand all the way back onto your hip, hip bone. There you go. Stepping backwards. One. Two. Good, three. All right, good, and yame. Yame means stop. And always step back from that. So picture this, I've, I've killed the guy with my sword and I pull it back and I stand there and his last, last thing that he does is slices me because I didn't step back. So usually we disengage Always backwards. Yep. And bow. Close. All right. So any questions on anything we've done so far, either Tuesday or today? Um, I, I don't think questions yet. It's, it's uh, once again, it's a matter of um, just putting it together, kind of digesting it because mm -hmm. it is quite different than I'm used to. Okay. And it, I mean, I'm, I, I don't feel like, I know it's taking me a while to get some of these, these things. I mean, that doesn't bother me as long yeah. as it don't bother you. Nope. Nope. So it's just, just like the other two arts that I've trained in and passed it, it was slow going and eventually, you know, it got better. Yep. So in your previous lives in uh, different, different martial arts, what did you have for your blocks for your middle from your, say your chin down to your stomach? So the two different arts were very similar uh, so we had inward block uh, in Che Undo, and it's basically in this fashion here. All right. So does that look like and what Choi we do was, was probably similar. I mean, Choi Kwang Do was a little, a little similar. And, so with Choi, Kwan, uh, Choi Kwan Do, they you actually kind of went out and grabbed it and pulled it. You kind of had a, a, bit. It's a circular, kind of a circular motion, kinda like this, kind of like this. Yes, kind of deflecting okay. so, the strike. So this is similar. There's two ways to do this block. One is to strike them. Bam! Others is to go out and grab it and bring it in. And deflect, yes. deflect and, and just allow it to happen. And as their hand is moving, their hand just happens to move over here because you've, you've kept, you've kind of just redirected it. Okay, so there's a couple... Like I say, there are two ways to, one is just smash mouth, bang their arm and make them pay for sticking their hand out, right? And the other is to to just redirect it and allow them to keep coming. And then you give them the, the what for afterwards, after they're still coming, <laughs> okay? 
Um, so yeah, both of those are the same, even though it's, so when we train beginner in our style, everything's exaggerated, okay? Long stances, big motions, okay? When I train to fight, that's my middle block. I don't necessarily need all that, but what I'm doing with the other is I have the ability to make the big or the small inside of the big. Okay, so here's nice. the big, here, here. Okay, so I can block with this and hit with that. But if all I learn is this, I just train the small, right? So I don't have the big part that's in there as well. I can't rake I his head, face and then hit him with this one. So we train as beginners to be a little bit more exaggerated only because it's also healthy too because you've got big motions you're working your joints you're working all your muscles to the maximum here to there so you're getting you're getting better flexibility and you're also getting strength so um i may not do this in in real fighting i may not mm -hmm. take it all the way to here to there because if i if you're going to punch me here and i go like this boom i'm going to get hit <laughs> unless i use yes. this to block and maybe hit with that. So, so I don't want to go this way over here to take one here and then there. Okay. So that part of the reason why everything's exaggerated is really more of a uh, part of a learning tool. Okay. I see. All right. Yes. So, did you also have an inside to outside uh, kind of block in your other styles? Oh, uh, you went not... like this, like that. No, just Are you blocking you know, on the outside. Yeah, outward block. The yeah. three primaries: outward, inward, and, and okay. low block. Okay. So that's the outward block the is the same. The only thing is that we have that's different is again, it's this exaggerated motion where you bring the hand all the way to your other side hip and bring it around. Okay. So it's the same. Bring it on this outside of the barrel that you're standing in, and bring it around. And the same position, except for instead of being on this side, center, it's on this side, edge of the body. Same fist position, same elbow bend here. Okay. So same fist position relative to the elbow as well as the elbow bend. But I'm going to bring it to the outside edge of the body, not past the body, just to the edge. So from here, so right hand out left hand underneath your hip and actually just kind of, you can uh, it'll, like kind of in your kidney area and my palm is facing downward. All right, like this, okay? Yes. And then bring it around like that. So it's, now, picture two, somebody's got your wrist. If you go inside, nothing changed, did it? They no. still got your wrist. So what I want you to do is same as we did with the rising block, is scrape across your wrist and bring it across this way. There you go, good. Now extend. Okay, so you're gonna do that one again? Okay, that's fine. So extend, bring your right hand underneath, scrape the wrist and around. Yeah, so right now you're kind of thinking this from watch see how much my my elbow is not moving yes all i'm doing is rotating around it what i want you to do is like we said with that down block bring that elbow across the body god yes and so, so that way i can use this muscle in my back and my lat so i can use my rhomboids and my lat to pull this elbow across here Bring your elbow across more, even more. Can you go farther? Wow. Can you go farther? <laughs> You're all boy, tempted. oh boy. Yeah. yeah. That's all that time in front of the computer for work. And there. Saw that. One. Send that one out. Two. One. Two. Okay, so think moving the elbow. Okay, if I were going to elbow somebody, I would do this, 
wham, right? Yes. Okay. So all the back muscles are involved in that motion from here to there. So same thing from here. Boom. I just don't send the elbow. I send the wrist. But the elbow does move here. All right, so let's uh, let's take this and bring it across again. Okay, go lower. All right, so your arm goes there. It just doesn't so go there by itself. <laughs> the upper part of my chest, for some reason, is is just tight. Okay, let's do the other side. All right, so. I want you to take and grab this elbow here, like this. Okay, let's take this one out. One. Okay, so you went like this. See how this elbow oh, didn't no. even, didn't Not that. make it go around, make it go around. Yeah, there you go, stick this out, bring this all the way across. If you need help, bring it over here with the other hand. Stick your right hand out. now. Bring this on the outside of this arm here and pull the other arm straight down the middle. There you go. Good. You're good. There you go. Good. Over here. If you need help, bring it over. Two. So, yep. So, so this is here is going to come in this little spot right in here. As I turn it over, it just gets out of the way. So your arm, when when your my left arm in this case comes up, it's it's really kind of my right arm's in the crook of my left arm That's somewhat. That's correct. That's correct, and it should already have been starting to come back. There you go. You can see how it's see. you got to get the timing right so it gets out of the way. And one of the things that we do too with this one is we use this hand to block this hand to take it over. So the first move is here, touch get ready to block and then we could take it over here or we can hit with it okay so let's do a few of these so left hand out right hand on your hip one two three four five. that's all right you got six. Seven. This one here really likes, you can feel it wants to open the hip up, right? Seven. Yes. Oh, you had it. Eight. Nine. This is this is quite a work ooh, workout. Ten. Ooh. Okay, so make sure you stick that one out like it's a punch, okay? Or or you can have it as like a parry block too. You can do it that way too. Okay. But one thing I don't want you to ever do is this. Where see how this one's collapsed? Yes. And this one's supposed to be doing the block. This is what, what I'm normally asking you to do. Yes. Don't do both because here's what will happen is you'll forget which one's you're supposed to be doing the block and then, and then you're like, oh, this one. Oh, wait. <laughs> so if you have one sticking out, the other one's doing the blocking, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do that one in a, in a front stance now. All right, well, let's, let's. Boy. Okay, left leg downward block. Come on. <laughs> So left hand, left hand goes to your ear. There you go. Left leg moves. Good. All right, here we go. Underarm block. Uchi uri uke. Itch. So it's kind of down by your hip joint. Knee. There you go. Thumb. Good, backwards, itch. Knee. Oops. 
हम इच सम यर यर इच बैकवर्ड And then front knee, knee. And then front knee, some. <laughs> And then front knee, forward, forward, forward. There you go. And your man. All right, stepping away, plus. Okay, so now I want to. Do some random call out to what I want you to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say a front snap kick, a downward block, a lunge punch face, um, a outside inside, inside outside, or a rising block. Okay. So we're gonna yes, go sir. back and forth. So you're gonna go three forward, three back. Okay. If uh, you only have the front snap kicks on the going forwards, okay. Yes, sir. All right. So you wait. All right, I'm gonna watch you. All right, here we go. Left leg forward, downward block. Come on. Good. Okay, so we're only gonna go three forward, and then we'll go three back. Okay, lunge, punch, face. One. Outside, inside, middle block. Two. Outside. The inside, middle block. Nope, outside, up here, and around. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that one already. Okay, down block three. Yep, good. All right, going backwards. Rising block one. Good. Inside to outside two. Inside to outside. Down block three. Oop. There you go. Front snap kick. Two down. One. Okay. Rising block two. Make sure the rising block comes on the outside of your draw hand. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Because think about it, if you go on the inside of your draw hand, nothing changes if they've got a hold of you, right? Yes. Okay. And last one, uh, lunge, punch, face. One. Good. Backwards. Uh, outside, inside, middle block. One. Nope. Rolls up. Rolls up to your ear. Remember, rolls up like the shade. Oh yeah. Inside, outside, middle block two. Outside, inside, middle block three. <laughs> no, 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 outside, oh, outside. Out. Yeah, there you go. Outside. Yeah. Good. Okay, so now the next one, I want you to do a front snap kick, lunge punch, and a front snap kick. Three steps. Okay, so the lunge punch you got to do with a step two. Okay, so let's go back again. Put your left leg forward. So you do a a front snap kick, land, lunge punch, step forward, and then a front snap kick, land. Ready? One, two, lunge punch, and I my front snap kick three. Good. Now uh, this one, I want you to do a rising block, a down block, and an inside to outside middle block. One. Rising block. Two. Down block. And inside to outside middle block. Inside to outside. Inside to outside. There you go. Good. Now next one, I want you to do outside to inside middle block. Lunge punch and a front snap kick. One. 
outside to inside. Roll it up. There you go. Lunge punch. Lunge punch. Too. Yeah. And a front snap kick. Good. And I want you to go backwards on this one. Down block, inside to outside, middle block, and a lunge punch. One, two, inside to outside, inside to outside. In Down by hook. There you go. Good. And a lunge punch. Just moving just, backwards? Yep, moving backwards, punch. Yep, good. Okay, good, yummy. Okay, so uh, we got about one more minute. A uh, couple things to work on is um, when, you're, um, when you're making these stances, try and make sure you get your knee over your front leg or front knee, uh, front yes, big toe, okay? Um, also, um, let's see. Your inside outside block seems to be way up here into your armpit. Try and get it down here uh, by your hip and try and get your elbow as much into the center as possible so that you can move, lead with the elbow to make this middle block. Yeah. So lead with the elbow to make the middle blocks. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, rising blocks seem to be pretty good. Just make sure you stay on the outside. Down block. Just scrape the top of it. Scrape the top of the arm as you pull back. Yep. All right. So I would take, and I would take both uh, Tuesday's class and today's class and maybe go through them together and then uh, practice some of these things on your own, okay? Yes, sir. All right. So if you think of any questions, go ahead and send me an email. More than happy to answer a question. If we need a quick uh, Zoom, I've got a, I've got my own Zoom account too that I can, uh, that I can set up. I've got a uh, guy helping me with uh, 